Hey there, Louis Ecobelis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can remove a document library from a SharePoint online site. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Lastly, if you find my content helpful and you want to support me as a creator, consider becoming a channel member. You can learn about all of the awesome perks that are included with my channel membership by clicking on the join button below. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now I am going to show you how you can remove a document library from a SharePoint online site while working in the modern experience. That is this interface that you can see here on the screen. And then I'm going to show you how you can delete or remove a document library from a SharePoint online site from the classic experience. Now, in order to remove a library, what you want to do is you want to click into the site contents. Now you can see here that I have this listed in the quick launch navigation menu. Now, in the event that you don't have this displayed here in your quick launch, you can get to the site contents by clicking on the settings icon and then clicking into site contents. Now, before I actually do this, I'm going to go ahead and delete this project documents library. And I just want to call your attention to the fact that there are some documents stored in this library. Now, after I delete it, I'm also going to show you how you can restore it in the event that you accidentally delete the wrong library. Now I'll go ahead and click into site contents. Now, in case you didn't already know, site contents is the place that you can come to view all of the content that exists on a SharePoint online site. So here you'll see a list of all your libraries. You'll see any lists that have been added. You can click into the pages for this site, etc. Now you can see here the project documents library. I'm going to place my cursor on top of this. And next you want to go ahead and click on show actions. And you can see here that you have an option to delete this. Now I'm going to go ahead and click delete. And then SharePoint is going to prompt you just to ensure that you actually want to delete this. And I also want to call your attention to the fact that this message also indicates that this library will be sent to the recycling bin. So you'll have an option to restore it in case you accidentally delete it. Next, you want to click on delete. And you can see here that this library has been deleted. Now, if you wanted to restore a library that you deleted, what you want to do is from this site contents page, you want to click into the recycle bin. So you can see that it says I have one item in there. If I go ahead and refresh my page, you'll see now that it shows as having two items there. So I'll click into this. And you can see here the project documents library that we just deleted. If I want to go ahead and restore this, I can just check it. And you can see here that I have an option to restore it. So I'll go ahead and click restore. And you can see here that the library is no longer listed in the recycle bin. And if I click on the home button, and then I click back into site contents, you'll notice that it has not come back yet. Now you may also see this behavior in your SharePoint online environment. Sometimes there is a bit of a delay before an action actually takes effect. So if I go ahead and refresh the page, now you can see here that the project documents library has been restored and is displayed in the site contents. Now, if I click into this library, you'll see here that it even restored the documents that were being stored in that library. So that's how to delete or remove a document library from a SharePoint online site when working in the modern experience. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at how to delete or remove a library when working in the classic SharePoint experience. All right, now you can see here that I am on the site contents page but it looks a little bit different. So this is the classic experience. You'll just notice that the different app or web parts on the SharePoint site are displayed as these tiles. This is kind of the older SharePoint experience. Now, if you want to remove a document library in an older version of SharePoint, and when you come into site contents, this is what you see. So you want to hover your cursor over the library that you want to remove and you want to click on the three dots. And you'll notice in this sub menu that you have this button that says remove. So you want to go ahead and press that. And this time you're going to get that same prompt, but it's just going to show up as a browser prompt. So if you do want to remove the library, then go ahead and click OK. And you can see here that the library has been removed. 
Now you'll notice that the recycle bin is showing zero. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh my browser. And you can see here that the recycle bin is showing one. So if you wanna restore that library, again, this time while working in the classic experience, you wanna click into the recycle bin. You're gonna see that library listed. You wanna go ahead and check it. And then you wanna click on restore selection. You wanna click okay on the browser prompt. And you'll see here that that library is no longer listed. And if you click back into your site contents, you can see here that the library has been restored. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to delete a document library from a SharePoint online site. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Yacobalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.